This is our approach to a PPF injection during sinonasal surgery. The solution is a 10 mil solution of 8 mils of 1% repivacaine, 1 mil of 1 in 10,000 adrenaline, and 1 mil of 100 milligrams per mil of tranexamic acid. The injection starts by bending a 1.5 inch 25 gauge needle at 25 mil millimeters for an adult, 20 millimeters for people aged 6 to 18, and for those under 6 years of age, 12 millimeters. The first location to find is the foramen. One feels and palpates for the maxillary tuberosity. You can see on a dry skull here where to find that. And then the foramen lies opposite the second molar and one can then place the needle directly down the hole and it should insert all the way through to the bend in the needle. So the way it starts then in real life is to actually feel the maxillary tuberosity slide forward so you're opposite the second molar and push hard and you'll create a little divot where the PPF canal will be. Place the injection in, aspirate back to make sure you don't have any blood in there and then slowly infiltrate two to three mils. You should actually see the entire hard palate on the ipsilateral side blanch. Coming out now after performing that, um, slow injection, you then wait and repeat on the other side, and that's our PPF injection.